going on you guys it's KOL fan 93 back here with another video and today's a video that I've been wanting to do for you guys for a very long time but before we get into that I have to give credit where credit is due and that is where I first saw an example of this video and of course that is going to go to the incomparable absolutely amazing Paul Martin belts go check his channel out guys he did this comparison before I did so uh, not piggybacking off of his, I've been wanting to do this for a while, but do want to give credit where it is due. Paul Martin is the first comparison of this that I'm aware of. So yeah, there you go. Moving on, we've got to get these two belts into these two hands. So here we go. Three, two, one. And just like that, there we go. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get into the comparison of the 2001 Figures Inc. WWF European and the 2019 to present WWE Shop European title. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, here you see it. Center plates going head to head. Of course, WWF on the left, WWE on the right. If you did not know that, what in the hell is wrong with you? Anyway, so your main difference is obviously going to be the World Wrestling Federation script and the WWF logos. Um, you're not ever going to find a WWF officially licensed replica unless you're looking on the uh, resale market like eBay, Facebook. Hey, go check us out at Belt Addicts Anonymous. I've seen these pop up a couple of times. Now mine is paint modded. The original version does have black behind the logo there. The WWE Shop version comes standard red. So first and foremost, we've got the flags. We've got the flag of Italy. And over here, it's the flag of France. Same thing repeated down low. We've got two Italian flags there. And over here, we've got an Irish and a French. All right, we're taking a look at the side plates now. I know that this is going to be mirrored off of one another on each belt. Um, however, I mean, the side plates are all the same for the most part, aside from the uh, property plate right here. So not even really going to include this because this was added on later. I did that myself. So yeah, you've got the logo box, WWF and WWE. As I mentioned before, this was originally black. I painted that red and this one came standard red. And you've got your two grapplers right there with the sunburst kind of pattern coming out of it. And it's the exact same thing over here. My lighting kind of sucks. And of course, another major, major difference. Two millimeter plates. Versus. Five millimeter plates. Now. This WWE shop version, much better quality, but I do definitely prefer my WWF version. So your outer side plate is just the WWE logo with that same sunburst pattern, this time with a shield. World Wrestling Entertainment in red. Same thing over here, except it's World Wrestling Federation, and your logo is white instead of gold. Taking a look now at the mail snap box. The WWF is on the left. The WWE shop is on the right. Of course, uh, my WWF is signed to myself from Al Snow and Head. I love that he put and Head. But uh, yeah, these are both standard 2x8 male snaps. Stitched on. And even to this day, still being stitched on. So, major downside there. But it is what it is. Now taking a look at the female snap boxes. Uh, WWF on the left with a gold tip installed that I did. And then, of course, no gold tip on the WWE shop on the right. Thinking about adding one to that, but not 100% sure. Of course, as mentioned with the mail snap boxes, stitched on on both of these. Okay, we are now looking at the back side. These are both green backing. Obviously, the WWF on the bottom. Uh, the WWF is a much smoother green backing. Um, I don't even really know. This just more... Feels more like a leather strap or pleather, simulated leather. Uh, this one is that same rough texture that's on the back of pretty much every replica belt ever made for the most part. Of course, a much smaller patch rather than the stamp. Now, I do believe that the stamp continued on whenever this went to WWE through Figures, Inc. 
I don't think they were putting a patch on it. I could be wrong. I've owned several of those. I, I should definitely know, but yeah. Now looking overhead, you can start to see some of the differences pop out, like the flags up top on the WWF. You notice that Italian flag, and then the French flag on the WWE lo logo version that we mentioned earlier. Uh, the red, I do have to say, the red pops so much on both of these. Obviously, it's going to pop more in the WWE shop because 99.9% uh, .9 likely if you get the WWF version from Figures, Inc., uh, if you're able to find one, it's going to have the black logo box, so you'll have to paint it red yourself. But if you do paint it red, it definitely pops quite nice, as you can see there. The 2019 does have a very, very slight curve to it, but uh, not really enough to make a difference. Versus that one. Yeah. And we'll get one more good look at these things before we close this video out. I uh, highly recommend both of these. If I were to have to pick one of them, I would definitely say chase the WWF version. It's obviously so hard to find, but it's not impossible. I found one, even though it took me 10 years. But uh, definitely chase that WWF one. Make sure you do those paint mods on it. Make it look really awesome. It's going to pop. But if not, the WWE Shop version is still a good one to go for, so I recommend that one as well. But uh, ultimately, it's just up to whatever you prefer, but that's just me. And that is going to do it for me, folks, which means that is going to do it for this video. So make sure that you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe for more content, click the bell, get these notifications, because I know that you want them. Make sure you go over to Belt Addicts Anonymous on Facebook, check us out. Join the group, you're going to have a great time. And then head on over to Max Revere's channel and check out that Over the Shoulder podcast. You will not regret it. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you all had fun. I'm KWFan93, and I'll see you in the next one.